Daddy Dad one here. Um, I've uh, seen a lot of videos. I have some subscribers that are, you know, from different parts of the world. And here lately, so many of them have been saying, Americans, you need to take your country back. You've got to do something. You've got to stop this. Now, this comes to the realization that other countries still look to the United States as the last beacon of hope and freedom in the world. And they see what's happening here, even if we don't. They see what's going on. They see that we're being led into captivity, led into bondage. We need to get our freedoms back. Um, it's pretty bad when people from other nations are saying, What are you doing, America? What is wrong with you, United States? What has happened? Wake up. Take your country back. You know? Because they know that when we fall, there is no hope left for the world. The United States is the last hope for the world, even as bad as we are. Even with all her imperfections. America is still that beacon on the hill. She is still the symbol for freedom in the world. Even with all that's going on, with all the wars she's fighting, with all the all the crap that's going on, she's still that beacon of hope. Freedom is never free. Absolutely not. It's going to cost us. It's going to cost us a lot. It's going to be hard. But it's worth it. So, let's, uh, let's take some advice from our brothers and sisters around the world. Let's take our country back. Let's stand up to this evil and say no more. We will not have this anymore. We need to stand up and say, no, you're not going to frickin' attack North Korea. They're not going to attack us unless we keep on provoking them. We're not going to continue to attack these other countries and send Blackwater and other companies over there to do the dirty work that the military can't do because of the laws that they've put in place for, the, for war. It makes me sick that they get around this stuff by bringing in some contractors to do their dirty work. But anyways, we've got to take our freedoms back, y'all, or we're going to lose it. We are losing it fast at an astronomical rate. We are going down fast. And the world see this. The world sees this, and they're saying, Please, America, don't let this happen. Please don't let this happen. They see it, and they mourn for us. Like I say, the scriptures say, when the wicked rule, the righteous mourn. Well, let's get the wicked out of power so we can stop the mourning. So we can stop being sad and, and, and downtrodden. Let's, let's get our country back. Let's make a stand. We've got to do it soon. And I mean soon, or it's going to be too late. If it's not too late already, and I hope it's not, 
I pray that it's not. I hope everybody's doing well today. God help us all. Buy plenty of ammo now. Get it while you can. Before you can't. Because it'll be worth something. You'll be able to trade it. You'll be able to use it. Others will be able to use it. If not for anything else, but for hunting or having some fun. Anyway, hope everybody's well. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1 over and out.